this video, we're going to talk about the point slope form of a line. Now, it's not rocket science where this equation comes from. It actually comes from the slope formula. So to find the slope between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, we can use the formula m equals delta y over delta x, or y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. If we just do a little bit of rearranging on this equation, we will end up with the point slope formula. I'm going to start with that m equals delta y over delta x and just write it backwards. So delta y over delta x equals m, the slope. The next thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by delta x. This leaves me with delta y equals m times delta x. And then finally, I'm just going to replace what delta y means, which is y2 minus y1, and what delta x means, which is x2 minus x1. Now, if we know a specific point, x1, y1, we know that piece. And if we know a specific slope, m, we know this piece. And all that's left in this equation, the only parts that we don't know, the variables that are still left, are y2 and x2. And so those just become the generic variables y and x. This gives us the point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And that x minus x1 is in parentheses. The highlighted portions, the y1, the m, and the x1, are the places that we will be replacing in the formula. The y and x that are in the formula stay there. They are the variables, like we see the variables in y equals mx plus b. Let's go ahead and try this out. So let's write the point-slope equation for a line with slope negative 2 that passes through the point 1, 5. 1, 5 is our x1 and y1, and the slope, m, is negative 2. I'm just going to start by rewriting y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then I'm going to just replace the parts I need to replace, the y1, the x1, and the m. This is going to give me y minus, the minus is part of the formula, so y minus 5 equals negative 2, that's the slope, times x minus 1, and the x minus 1 is in parentheses. And at this point, we have the point-slope equation for the line. Let's have you try the next two problems. So you're going to write a point-slope equation for a line with slope 1 3rd that passes through the point 2 comma negative 6, and write the point-slope equation for a line with slope 1.5 that passes through the point 0 comma 4. And it's fine to just stop when you hit that point-slope form. So pause the video and come back to me when you're finished. Okay, hopefully you've taken a good stab at writing those lines. Let's see how you did. We're going to start with the point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The slope is 1 third. That's the m value. And 2 comma negative 6 is the x1, y1 that we're plugging in. Doing that, we've got y minus negative 6 equals 1 third times x minus 2. And let's just simplify that. That's y plus 6 equals 1 third times parentheses x minus 2. And it's okay to just leave it like that for now. I said not to go any further than that. The final problem was to write the point-slope equation for a line with slope 1.5 that passes through the point 0 comma 4. Start with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That'll be y minus 4 equals 1.5 times x minus 0, or just y minus 4 equals 1.5 since the 0 is just going to go away. Now, none of these really look like that slope-intercept form we were working with. We can rewrite any of these equations in the slope-intercept form. All we need to do to get there is distribute and then move a term to the right-hand side. So if we go back to this first equation, y minus 5 equals negative 2 times parentheses x minus 1. 
I'm going to go ahead and do this distribution first. So y minus 5 equals negative 2x plus 2. And I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So y minus 5 plus 5 equals negative 2x plus 2 plus 5. So I've added the 5 to both sides. And that leaves me with y equals negative 2x plus 7. And so there's the equation in slope-intercept form. The equation in point-slope form is y minus 5 equals negative 2 times parentheses x minus 1. Both of those are going to graph the exact same line. At this point, go ahead and pause and see if you can rewrite the other two equations in slope-intercept form. Come back to me when you're finished. Okay, let's see how you did. Let's look at y plus 6 equals 1 third times parentheses x minus 2. First, we're going to distribute the 1 third. That gives us y plus 6 equals 1 third x minus, and then 1 third times 2 is going to be 2 thirds. All right. Now we've got to move that 6. So we need to subtract 6 from both sides. That's going to be y plus 6 minus 6 equals 1 third x minus 2 thirds minus 6. So you can see the minus 6 there on both sides. That leaves us with y equals 1 third x. And then we've got to do this calculation of negative 2 thirds minus 6. So you might want to find a common denominator that's negative 2 thirds minus 18 thirds. And that's going to be y equals 1 third x minus 20 thirds. This last equation, y minus 4 equals 1.5x, was pretty fast. All you need to do is add 4 to both sides. So if we do y minus 4 plus 4 on the left and 1.5x plus 4 on the right, on the left we just have y, and on the right we have 1.5x plus 4. So a quick recap. The point slope form is given by y minus y1 equals m times parentheses x minus x1. We're replacing the slope m and the point x1, y1 in that formula. That leaves us with the point slope form. And then going through a simplification to solve for y gives us the slope intercept form.